Heavy. I'm just like, here we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're live. Okay. <laughs> okay, we made it. My name is Stephanie. Um, my son Jose. Um, he was he was diagnosed. Sorry. He was diagnosed with um, severe autism back in um, it was September 2021. Um, we were devastated, of course. Um, it was the hardest um, part of our life, I guess. And um, we got into researching, trying to help Jose as much as we could. Um, we, we looked into therapies, we looked into special ed. He was uh, um, already uh, um, going to special ed, getting ABA. I wasn't seeing any type of, um, how can I say, like, any gains from any of it. So then I started, for some reason, I came upon stem, stem search, uh, stem cell search. I don't know how I found out, but um, I, I found this place, you know, it had the best reviews. I wanted the best for my son. Um, <laughs> I wanted the best for him and we decided to actually come here to Nate since it was like uh, there were so many reviews on it that it was the best place and of course we wanted the best for uh, our son and um, yeah we came uh, the, first, the first the first we were kind of like uh, kind of scared like uh, we don't know what was going to happen we, but we didn't want to leave no stone in turns. And surely enough, we uh, first first time that he got his stem cells, um, it was like a miracle. He slept all night. And before this, Jose Angel was waking up at two in the morning, trying to leave the house. He was trying to, um, he escaped twice. He was, I would talk to him and I feel like there was a lot there. There was no eye contact no affection whatsoever. He was a, a lonely wolf, let's say. So the first day he got his stem cells, um, it was a beautiful moment. He fell asleep the whole entire night. It, it was the first time we've slept in like a year, like I said. Sorry, just a little bit emotional, you know? It, it, it's, it's hard, it's hard for me, you know? We've seen a lot of improvement with Jose. Um, the second, the, the day after he got his stem cell, um, he started looking at us more. A week after he started giving his personality, um, before he was just like a zombie. Um, he would, um, I would like, okay, come on, and he's in his own world. And then he started giving personality, so I'm like backing off, like saying, no, I don't want to do this. Um, he started hugging us more. He started kissing us, which is which is never like a, a we never saw this before. It was it, it, it was a very uh, emotional two weeks you know because we started seeing it like he was coming like before we he, his autism kicked in he was a very lovable infant uh he was uh he would always hug us and then of course his whole, whole autism i don't know where it, it, it peaked we started seeing repetitive um behaviors we started seeing his distance and anyways like I said, the, the whole two weeks, it was like a whole emotional roller coaster for us in a good way. You know, um, now this is the second treatment. He's been babbling more, wanting to talk more. Um, he sometimes, uh, I seen HC a lot, to, a lot for him, and he'll go, eh, eh, eh. So we've seen that he wants to talk now. So we're like very, um, we're happy about that. We see that um, after his stem cell, there was more like, um, before he was just like quiet, there was nothing coming out, nothing, nothing. And now like he actually wants to talk, he'll see like the letters and go, oh, oh, you know, there's more, um, yeah, his speech, well, he's not talking, but there's more, he's trying to talk and after he did receive his stem cells. Um, his attention span has actually improved. Before, like I said, he would um, just, he was just there. And now I talk to him and I say, Jose, do this. And he'll look at me and he actually, like today I told him that, um, that he, I told the, the doctor that, um, I told him, okay, let's turn off the light. And before he would just be like, totally shut off. He would just be like, I don't know, like to just like cut us off. And today um, I told him, turn the, the TV off. 
I mean, the light off. And he actually like went and turned it off. At first, it was like a big. I, I know it's it for some, a lot of people. It's just like whatever, you know. But for us, it's like a big step, you know. He's actually paying attention to the, to our one step um, uh, instructions. And I mean, I couldn't be any happier, you know. I couldn't be any more happier than than we are. We come from California, and it's a sacrifice that we we come all the way to Arizona, and I mean, we received the the most um, happiest news, you know. Um, sleeping wise, he's sleeping. Um, his whole mood has improved 100 percent and we couldn't be any happier. And we're happy with how we've been treated here in the clinic. Everything has been smooth and we're so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're very happy. I know I'm a little nervous, you know, because uh, I guess anybody gets nervous uh, talking about their ch their children and me and camera, I'm not very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a very social person, <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to help everybody out, especially with this whole procedure with my son. I'm happy to reach people out to say that stem cells do work. My son is a living proof that stem cells do work. So we're, we're happy. <laughs> You're welcome. That was great. Jose, do you want to come say hi? Oh, sir. Can you come say hi? Come here. And like I said, he... Look at this that. Is, that was huge, yeah. Yeah, this is huge for us. When was he ever paying attention to us? Before I would talk, I would um, call him and nothing there. And now I, I talk to him and he knows. He knows to come to me, so... Immediately respond. Immediately. That was great. So his therapist, too, has said that they see a big increase. A big increase. Uh, now he is in summer school. Um, not, not in summer school, in ABA. So um, even his his ABA um, therapist um, has said um, that she's been she's seen a big increase personality-wise. And um, even paying attention, they, they would give him a, like an ABC puzzle. And like he, they would stress them, do this, do this, and nothing. Once we, the um, two weeks, like I said, this, the first two weeks of his stem cells, uh, the teacher said that one day he just went in, they gave him the puzzle, and he put all of the puzzles exactly back. And not just the ABCs, also the number puzzle. And she said, I just, I just don't understand. And I explained to her the whole stem cell. She said, this has actually been uh, the, the first two weeks that I've seen so much improvement in him. I mean, if the therapist is saying that there's been an improvement of it, what more of a reason of not getting stem cells do you want? You know, a lot, I've seen a lot of people, they tell me, stem cells are, they're nothing. But I mean, who says a living proof that they are? <laughs> you know, I, I've seen such a big improvement in him. and. Well, are you being Buzz Lightyear? Like a god. And so, in terms of, um, does he go to ABA with any other kids? How? Where does he get like social engagement, family functions? Do he he gets his social enga uh, engagements in special ed. Like I said, he was he's been there since uh, last year in September. There was uh, I got his progress notes in last month. Um, the teacher, of course, he couldn't meet his term goals, he couldn't meet anything. But um, once he hit that two week mark, even the teacher called me and she said, Stephanie, um, what's going on with Hussein? I mean, I, I told her, what do you mean? She said, um, he's actually participating. We've had like a, a dance circle time and he was always like shut off, nothing happening. And um, all of a sudden, you know, he just started um, uh, participating. He started actually wanting to play with his peers. He's been very affectionate to the teachers, grabbing their hands, actually giving them, giving them kisses as well. Um, we've been seeing like better eye contact um, on campus of Santa, like what's going on? So then I explained to them the whole process that Jose is going through in the Health Institute and they said, I need to take my child. Um, they said I need to get more information. I, they're actually seeing his progress and the teacher, um, she has an autistic child. And she said that um, she was looking into stem cells as well. So she's seen a big improvement in Jose. So other moms as well, they tell me, you know, like um, Jose has been improving what's going on. I tell them about innate health and um, stem cells, how it's been, played a big part in, Jose, in Jose's life. And everybody, all the uh, uh, um, 
to uh, moms with autism, autism children, they're just like, I need to see where, uh, I need to see his progress. I need to see what's going on. And now they're also, uh, they're also saying like, I want to get the stem cells as well. So Paul says uh, living proof that stem cells do work. <laughs> Thank you for trusting us to be a part of Jose's healing journey. It's been amazing and it's been a short journey so far. It's only been a month, a couple weeks, but yeah. he's made leaps and bounds and I'm so happy. Yeah, I know we're very happy as well. So thank you, Steph. I know you guys are so welcome, and whatever I can do, help. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm weird when it comes to cameras, but um, I'm more than welcome to um, answer any questions you guys have. And, and um, yeah, thank we're happy. You. Thank you. You wanna wave bye, Jose? You wanna wave bye, Jose? You wanna wave bye? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Jose. Like I said, so happy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>